Friends, we discuss in our today's topic how hydrogen bomb or a thermal nuclear bomb work. Before we get deep into the topic, remember atomic bombs are different than hydrogen bombs. Atomic bomb based on single fission reaction and hydrogen bomb based on double reaction cycles fission and the other one fusion. Hydrogen bomb is more powerful than atomic bomb. Basically radioactive material used in these bombs. And they emit three types of rays. Alpha, beta, gamma. Alpha particles pose no direct or external radiation threat. However, they can pose a serious health threat if ingested or inhaled. Beta particles. Some beta particles are capable of penetrating the skin and causing damage such as skin burns. Beta emitters are most hazardous when they are inhaled though. Gamma rays have so much penetrating power that several inches of a dense material like lead or even a few feet of concrete may be required to stop them. Gamma rays can pass completely through the human body. As they pass through, they can cause ionizations that damage tissue and DNA. Now let's see the details of the fission reaction happening in hydrogen BAM. In fission reaction, two hydrogen atoms make a single atom of helium and a neutron. A isotope of hydrogen called deuterium and tritium hydrogen isotopes stick together and form helium. Same reaction happening in our sun, which is making millions of ton helium in every second. But here is a problem hydrogen isotope tritium is so rare to get. And we can get a lot of energy from the formation of helium. So we use lithium deuteride to get hydrogen isotope tritium. But reaction needs ultimate heat to run. People also ask, why high temperature is required for fission reaction? It requires this high temperature so that nucleus start moving at rapidly speed, which in turn increases their kinetic, so that they overcome the repulsion between them and can come together. Which heat provided from an atomic bomb present in missiles same warhead. Friends see you soon in another video inshallah. Friends don't forget to comment.